for the wow of how this really is a whole circulation system. Think about it this way. If you were standing almost on the 40 yard line mm -hmm. of a football field and you were at the goal post and the tornado was at that 40 yard line, you would literally feel the coolest, <laughs> nicest breeze. That is how powerful and how special this is. And Megan, it's always good to have you back. Thank you. We've got a lot to get into. We have yes. white and we have black, mm -hmm. but you know what? The heat is on. The heat is on and it's going to be worse than ever. I mean, this is just how it is. Look at this map. It is so red, dark red. Those are triple digits all over the South and in the Midwest. This week we had the Ring of Fire. I don't know if you heard about that, yeah. but that was having triple digits all over the Midwest and the South. And it's not gonna stop, it's barely June. So what do you need in your home? Do you have a fan? Great. But do you have an ultra high performance fan? That's what this is. This is a whole room air circulator. This doesn't just move the air in front and blow you away. This actually keeps your entire room cool. That means if there's multiple people in the room, everyone stays cool. Right. Not just the one person stealing all the air in front of the oscillating fan, chasing it back and forth. So and this is totally different technology. And what's really interesting is from this far away, we both are freezing. So cold. <laughs> <laughs> we, the first thing we did, we're both in here waiting to go out of the air. We're like, oh my gosh, we were laughing. I'm like, thank goodness I have my G by Juliana jacket on because I am freezing my buns off. Yeah. And it's from that one fan <laughs> clear across the room. All right, so here's where I have a lot of fun with Facebook. And now, always at midnight, we, we'd love you to join us on Facebook. If you have any questions, I'm going to ask her during the airing your questions. If you want to say hi, if you have a Vornado and you'd like to comment on how much you love it, do that. You go to our Facebook page, it's HSN Facebook, and we're going to communicate live together on the air. So I'd love to hear any any questions that you might have. So here we go. All right, Dorothy, let's talk to her a little bit later, but let's kind of go on over yeah. there and kind of show them some features. Yeah, now, of course. understand, I think the technology is fascinating. This mm -hmm. actually, and you told me this a little earlier, began back in World War II with the engineers yeah. of airplanes. Yep, it actually started before World War II in the 1920s. The engineers were creating the Vornado plant. Uh, plane and they realized by creating this tunnel at the end of the propeller they can make a plane get up in the air faster and go further so huh. Time goes by and they're like, hey, we can take this technology and make something really cool for the home because remember, AC didn't exist back then. Right. So they were the very first people to ever create the uh, whole room circulator and they just had to wait to debut it until 1945 because they were too busy, you know, repairing war plays and fighting for our country. So what you're seeing right now is that Vortex technology that is special to Vornado. It is taking the air from behind, sending it through this deep pitched blade and then channeling it through this tunnel and out through the grill, that air that you see right now is going 100 feet across the room, bouncing off the walls, bouncing off the ceilings, and actually coming back into the unit. That means we're moving all the air in the room. No more stagnant air, no more hot pockets and cold pockets. We're blending all that air together, so it's an energy saver. It's gonna save you money in your air conditioning because you're blending those spots. And it works so well. Oh, but it's amazing. And we're in a great big studio. I can imagine if it works in your living room because this studio is huge yeah. and you can feel that air moving around the studio. Now, you're blowing some smoke in First here. of all, you have to turn it on. It wasn't on for a <laughs> Always second. Always works, yeah. <laughs> now that it is on, you can see that it's taking all of this steam and actually sending it across this black wall. I have the ability to tilt this up and I have the ability to tilt it down. It has a 90 degree curve. But what you need to know is all this steam, although you can't see it anymore, it's actually on the other side of the studio because it is traveling so far. You know what you're not seeing, unfortunately? We haven't quite, can you do it one more time? Yeah. Hopefully on this camera, we'll see it. It is a black, and you really mm -hmm. see it take and spin. It's not just a little stream. So if you get enough oomph, do we have to wait for the smoker we to reset? We have to wait for the oomph, <laughs> but as soon as the oomph comes, we'll show you We'll that. totally do it. Okay. But while we're waiting, I can show you this. This is a different kind of oomph. So I have this fan. We always think of box fans as having so much power. This one clearly is not turned in, right? Or turned on, excuse me. It's not even plugged in. I can actually put this in front of our Vornado 660 and it is completely powering this large, large box fan. How? Wait, Megan, step back oh. just wait, because I want you to get just a little bit. Look at that, you guys. It That's the speed of that fan. <laughs> not plugged in. And this in. Vornado is making that happen. Oh yeah. Wow. It is, it is real 
power. Well, and also, you know what the problem with that fan is? You gotta be standing right in front of it. You ever get out of the shower and it's really hot and you're out of the shower and you go in front of your box fan and stand there wet just because you want a little breath of cold air, just a moment of it? You won't do that anymore. The <laughs> whole room's now comfortable. You don't have to have the fan right facing you and everybody else in the room is hot and miserable. This fan, actually, wherever you place it, is gonna be circulating the air in just a really unique and very unusual way. Interesting story, last time we were had this on the air last season, completely sold out, it was never today's special. This is our best value and the very first time we've ever offered it. And you know what happens when it gets, oh thanks guys, that's a great shot. When it gets really, really hot, you run to the hardware store and you'll buy that dented box fan for whatever it costs because you're miserable and you're uncomfortable. If you buy it right now tonight, then guess what? You don't have to worry about it. And the neat thing about it too is, uh, Megan, is this is four seasons. Oh, absolutely. You use this all year round. The whole idea is that you're taking the air from behind and pushing it forward. So right now we're in summer. So we're taking the, the cool air, we're pushing it forward and spreading it around the room. If it's winter time, there's there's nothing better than putting this in front of a heater and actually having the heat go all through the room. Because cool. the biggest issue with heaters is that they only heat around itself and not the entire room. Right. So the animation that we were just showing, that's actually showing the difference between oscillation and circulation. And our big thing is that we say we do not oscillate. That is a waste of energy. It is a waste of time. All that does is, if I'm the yeah. fan. Ready? Da -da 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 -da. Wait, I'm hot. Da -da 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 -da. I'm cool for a second. Da -da 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 -da. I'm hot again. I'm right? cool again. I'm hot again. It's yeah. a waste of time. It's a waste to energy and they always break. We circulate the air. So now we're pulling in that air. It's traveling. It's bouncing off the wall, bouncing off the ceiling and going back into the unit. Okay, Dorothy. Hello, Dorothy. Margaret says, hello, Dorothy. Hello. Uh, Anna is here. Deborah is here. Also, uh, does it blow out cold air even if the room is super hot? So how's that going to work? So there's a misconception with fans. Fans do not actually cool the air. There's, it, it, that's not their purpose. They're actually blending the air and moving the air out. It's when you feel the, the wave of wind on you that your sweat is actually moving off of you and that's cooling that's you cooling off. That's cooling you down. Right. right. No, so wait, no, that's yeah. why with the oscillation fan, it has to be on you or you're immediately hot again. Oh, interesting. With this, you're blending the cool spots and the warm spots, so you're actually lowering the, the temperature in the entire room. That's in comparison brilliant. of just getting hit water. every now and then. Right. Right. Exactly. I mean, come on. Now, that is absolutely brilliant. So what I'm showing right now is if you're wondering, like, how much wind is there? Think about when you're driving, how fast you're going. This is showing us 11.2 miles per hour. That's how fast the wind is coming out here. And what's the, the average typical, fan, yeah, box fan? Two miles per hour to eight miles per hour. And this is 11, almost 12 miles per hour. Correct. And, and again, remember, this isn't, it doesn't have to be sitting there directly blowing on no. you. That's over. It's a whole different concept and way of thinking about cooling off your room in the summer. Now, imagine if you have a window open and I'm from Ohio in the evenings, it gets nice and chilly. You potentially don't even have to use your AC. Put right. it in the window and let that cold air get sucked in and then blow around the room. And then you also, get Also, how many too. of you have an air conditioning unit in one window and yeah, your master bedroom's okay, but there's other bedrooms. How are you gonna get the air down there? Open your door, stick this thing in front of it and it will literally circulate the air down and around helping to cool off those extra spaces. And if you have an AC full house unit that is too small for the size house you have, and there's always that back room that's too hot, again, place it near in the hallway, let it blow and push that cool air on down to those extra rooms. I think you'll find this to be remarkable. Now we want Plus to- Plus you have a cool party trick. Well, of course, yeah, you can get a balloon and do this, which <laughs> is pretty cool. Just pull it 90 degrees well, actually, and then you can get, hey, funny. watch this. This is so on low right now. So talk buttons for us because Raven's yes. asking about buttons and we'll yes. prove the buttons right now using yes. this. So the buttons, um, I actually could just spin this around because it's not going to affect. All right, so on the back, it's just four buttons that you have to worry about. Of course, you're going to turn it on over on this side, but then starting from the opposite side, you have low, medium, fast and then turbo. Okay, and right now it's on low. It's on low. Now the problem is we're gonna take it up to two. Yes. So um, Jeff, we're gonna have to go, not yet, hold on, we're gonna oh. let Jeff get out there. We're gonna go a little, <laughs> gotta go a little higher and wider. Maybe, I don't know which, you gotta go higher than that. Because we're gonna go to two only. 
The reason we're not going to three or four is because it gets <laughs> caught. Now, our ceilings are extremely high yeah. in the studio. This is only two. Three and four takes it above our lighting grid and up to the top of this incredibly high ceiling. So we're we not can't, allowed. We can't put it on turbo. <laughs> it would actually blow this thing all the way up, and well, we don't want our lights yeah. to get caught. Yeah. Okay, another question we have is, is on cleaning, which is a really good question. Very because easy Because if you to have clean. an awful oscillating fan or if you have that box fan, you're not getting in there to clean those blades. Yep, that's actually one of the features and benefits that's so important is that this can actually just pop up and you just clean it really quick and then you're good to go. And they really thought about that, guys. So you just pop the front off, the blades are easy to clean, pop it back on, of course, yep. unplug it when you do that and you're good to go. So really good idea here. All right, I want you once again to think of this. If you were standing on an NFL football field <laughs> and you were on about the 40 yard line, I mean, think about the 50 yard line, that's halfway of that giant field. You're on about the 40, between the 40 and the 30 yard line. You had the tornado there and you were at the goal post you will feel that wind movement. And yes. the coolest thing is, it's actually helping to cool the entire room. So if you've been thinking about getting whole house air conditioning, just try it. Hey, if it doesn't work, go ahead and invest thousands in whole house air conditioning. If you said, gosh, that one room, or maybe we should get a window unit for that room, again, buy this first, and then go out and spend $500 on a window unit if you don't love it. I think, and you've obviously gotten comments over the last couple of years, oh, yeah. it's truly a game changer. We have some Completely. reviews from Texas I'm going to read. Texas, it's hot in Texas. I have a review from New Mexico. Now, when people are, we have reviews from Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. When people are reviewing a whole circulating room system from those states, I think you know, and calling them a five-star perfect item, you'll see some down below. I think you can feel pretty pretty um, assured that it's going to work really well for you. Um, yeah, we talked about the buttons, so we got that one covered too. Yep. Uh, oh, how loud is it on high? That is a really good question, Lisa. It's really not that loud. It is whisper quiet when you have it on the first and second level. It's going to be a little bit louder because it's on a turbo speed, right. but it's nothing. And it's you know what really we'll do? Once deal. we walk past, I'll grab yeah. a balloon off one of them and we will crank it up to turbo well, so you can the, hear it. And the, the unit with the steam, that was on turbo. And you, I mean. Oh, oh that wasn't louder. Actually, the smoke machine was louder than the fan. The smoke machine was louder. <laughs> That's that so wasn't true. the fan. So but we'll do it again anyway. All right, let's talk about the blades. All right, so right now you saw the pinwheel was going. This here, is do it again, 20 feet away. I think it's away. like crazy. I got to find, I got to find and it. There we go. Can so you we're talking about 20 shot? feet away. Like way over there. Yeah, it's way, way over there. Uh, so we're talking about 20 feet this actually moves air up to 100 feet so the question is how does it move that much air and it all comes down to the technology remember this is so special this vortex technology and it came from the whole idea of plane av aviation if you look at your fan you're basically just going to see the two grills and then the blade in between, right? Mm -hmm. Not here. This unit in the back is called an inlet accelerator. It takes the air out in the most efficient way from behind and pushes it into this amazing blade. It is small, but it is so mighty. Because it's contoured, it's curved, and it's wide, it actually can churn so much air that then will move on to the next section. This is not your big, flimsy air. Then it's gonna move into this tunnel. That tunnel's creating that tornado effect that you see in front of you. And you notice that that tornado's expanding. It's going further and further and further. Well, how? The grill, while the grill looks so beautiful, it actually has special technology in the grill that offsets it and makes it travel further. That's how we're getting to that 40 yard line. We're going 100 feet with this unit right here. And show them the chrome backbone. The chrome, I think this is great. The chrome bar is great because when you think about it, adjusting a fan it was always notches and lifting like, things up and lifting yeah it was always or, annoying you know what, what happened then it would fall when, down but when you screwed it down you'd end up um you would end up stripping the screw oh, yeah, and so yeah. it would just never stay <laughs> yeah this literally just glides back and forth and if you're thinking to yourself why on earth would i need this at 90 degrees well heat rises so if this is the winter time you want to bring the heat back down well yeah you're going to point this up if you want to put it on a diagonal send cool air going up the stairs because now your upstairs might be hot if you're doing the whole zone cooling you can cool it from from downstairs and of course have it at this angle you're cooling everybody in the room so it doesn't matter whether you're standing whether you're playing on the ground with your dog if you're on the left side the front side the back side of the room everybody is going to be cooled off with this 
technology. And it's influencing the entire room. Yes. See, that, that's why I think you have to kind of get your head around it, too. And by the way, Carol, I think her note is very funny. She says, I really need this Vornado with an exclamation you do. point. You do yes, really Carol, need this Vornado. you really do. If you're thinking you do, chances well, are you really do need it. <laughs> and Carol, I don't know if you know this, but we have a five-year manufacturer's warranty. This is leading in our industry. There's a reason why we say we are leaders in airflow technology, and it's because we create products that are true to what they say they do and they last long and they have great engineering. So five full years, this thing is gonna pay for That's itself great. in the first couple months. Raven likes you have boys, it for by time. the way, a little shout out. Raven, thank you. My Hi, dress, Raven. actually if you want my dress, it's slinky and it's coming up in the next couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> and Lisa, we will get to how high it is or how loud it is on high. It's not obnoxious, no. which is lovely because you know a lot of fans, you're watching television and they're really, really loud right beside you. How many colors does it come in? Darla wants to know that or Dahlia. Two. It's two, we have it in white, we have it in black. White just brand FYI. new. And white is the most limited. Oh. So if you're thinking white, yeah, and then there's that great black. I think the black's great because it kind of mm -hmm. disappears in any room. Uh, let's see, blah, 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 blah. I just saw the It circulates. Why does the spinner turn anywhere? Oh, if it circulates, why is the spinner turn anywhere in the room? Oh, yeah, she's asking, you've got the spinner in front of it. Obviously, it's going right. to turn. Okay, so the way that that technology works is it's sending the air out this way. So that's where it's going to be the most powerful. And, but then it's going to bounce off the walls and it's going to come back into the room. So it's going to slow down the speed and it's going to come back into the machine. So we're getting the most par powerful air on the direct airflow. Right. If that but, makes sense. But it's the indirect, indirect happens once it turns too. around. Right. It's, and it's a really, it's yeah. completely different. And I think it's a great question, Maddie, but it's completely different than when you're thinking of. Right. Because typically we think oscillation and we think a box fan. Mm -hmm. And they're very limiting. When you get the Vornado, it's wildly, wildly different. And I can guarantee you that even the wind and the air surrounding it it feels very different because of that brilliant design. Here's where we're at. Almost 800 have been ordered in the first few minutes. We have about four or five minutes to go in this airing. Why pick it up tonight? Because number one, you know there's always a rush at the big box stores to get fans when you get that first really brutal heat wave. And when that happens, you will buy the dented one and you'll spend any amount of money on it just to be cool for that moment. Do not waste your money on box fans anymore. That's a thing of the past. Don't waste your money on oscillating fans and well, we thought those are the greatest things, but you're right. You're hot, 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 I'm cool for a second, and I'm hot again. Hot, 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 cool for a second, hot again. Stop, that, that this is completely different. Everyone in the room can be cool, and it's truly influencing the entire room. Now, obviously, the coldest spot is when you're right in front of it, but I'm a good 20 feet away right now, and think about it, can you imagine? You're at the about the 40 yard line between 30 and 40 on a football field, and you are feeling the difference 40 yards away at the goalpost. I think that's really amazing. And I love the compact size. To be able to do that kind of power, that kind of performance, and that kind of compact size is truly brilliant. And that is exclusive to the Vornado technology. If you see any other versions out there, they do not and cannot have this type of technology. This is the only one that includes all of that. And we have our best value, and it literally is for only one day. All right, so there we go, our little oscillator guy. This is, this is what you know. You know the oscillation fan. We've been brainwashed to think that oscillation is everything. Right. But this is what we were talking about in the beginning. I'm hot right now. Right. I'm hot. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Come on. <laughs> when's it going to come back to me? <laughs> and then when it comes, you go, ah, one, two, three. I got three seconds of air. <laughs> so you're always the person going like this. Like, okay. <laughs> Give well, me more. People, you know Give what we all do? You just turn the darn <laughs> oscillation off and you're just like, bring, put it on me. That's all I want. So there it ruins the concept of the oscillation. Yeah. We, we now, don't need to do that anymore. No, wait, really quickly before yeah. you turn that on. Okay. This is on turbo. I think Lisa this is asked. Turbo. Okay. We'll be quiet, believe it or not. There you go. Really? Turbo. Not loud at all. All right. Very good. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, okay, Gigi wants to know, uh, how will it work in a room with no AC? What it's gonna do is it's gonna move all the air in the room. So again, it doesn't necessarily take the air and cool it off in this unit, but when you have stale, stagnant air that is not moving, that's when you're gonna feel sticky, that's when you're gonna feel like you can't breathe. So by simply having circulation, by having that movement, you're completely changing the atmosphere of your room. If you have the ability to open a window and put this near the window, oh. then you have the chance to get either yeah. fresh air or you also have the opportunity to get some cool air coming in. And then again, that cool air is gonna blend in with your hot room and cool down the entire room. Also so if you don't have air conditioning, this is also still 
great for you. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a, way better than a regular fan. If you don't have AC, still. it's a game changer. Yeah. And I'll tell you, if you have AC, you don't have to crank it up as high uh, to keep you cool at night. Just actually bring it down, put this in your bedroom, and you naturally will feel cooler because it's maximizing the cold air from your AC. So any way you put it, any formula, any kind of thing you can think about, this really is going to be and make a big, big difference. Um, Megan, so we're showing now the speed of this. We are. So we keep talking about how far it'll go. It'll go 100 full feet. But what does that mean to you? This is 10 to 11.2 miles per hour is what we've been picking up tonight. So if you imagine driving your car 11 miles per hour in a car that's slow with wind and speed, that's a lot of air. Your typical fan, you're lucky if you're getting between two and eight miles per hour. With this, you're getting 11 and above when you're utilizing the turbo speed. Okay, Eric says he's taking one in black. Very good, Eric. Smart I would totally man. get the black. Also, yeah, Laura's helping out. She says, oh, she wants to know, can you put it in a window? She has no Absolutely. AC. Absolutely. Absolutely. Laura, I can't wait to use it yep. with a window. You, put it in your window. You, you'll be amazed. I just want you guys to see this tornado action. Remember, this is Vortex technology. It creates a tornado. Vornado, that's how we got our name. I can take this away. There's no tricks here, people. This is Vortnado's technology at its finest. It's spinning, it's going up. I can put this on another one. You know that it's gonna travel 100 feet. This is not a fan. This is a ultra high performance fan that it sounds so silly, but it'll change your life if you're hot. This will change your life and it'll create a more comfortable experience, not just for you, but everybody that's in your home. And here's what I would wanna point out as we wrap up. We have five flex pays for today only. That's $16 to try it. And remember, you can use this four seasons. If you have a little space heater and you can imagine being able to push that uh, warmth around the room in the winter time, that saves you a ton of money in the long run as well. So if you want to try it out tonight, Flex pays easy. It's any major credit card. You can even use PayPal. And did you notice too on that, the five flanks, the price. That goes up at midnight if I have any left. Just and as a quick note. We've never had it at this price and you are getting that five-year manufacturer's warranty. That's right. That's right. And it's never been a today special. Mm -hmm. And it's sold out at a much higher price. And that's really how good it is. And it's a customer pick. So I think you can assure yourself that's probably going to work really well for you. Megan, I will see you next hour. Absolutely. Thanks for hanging out. I'll be out. here. <laughs> All right, we have a lot more coming up. And thanks, guys, for hanging out with me on Facebook, too. This is really fun. Uh, coming up next hour, oh, yeah, i got to show you this. Hunter, very funny story. I'm going to share it with you later.